Today we're going to be installing a HashiCorp vault. Have you ever wondered how systems in production can keep their secrets secure while also following the best practices in GitOps, storing your infrastructure as code? Well, I'm going to show you about that today. And in the future videos, we'll see how HashiCorp vault gets integrated with a MongoDB database to store secrets in the vault while providing infrastructure as code in GitHub in an open source public repository. So let me show you. We're doing Red Hat Consulting is going to have a hackathon internally at an upcoming event, and we're preparing some GitOps for that. So I'll show you here. If you go to github.com slash rh-impact and then click on projects, I'm going to go to this Fiware NA 2023 hackathon and pull up a task related to deploy a Fiware context broker on OpenShift Local. And there's some instructions here to deploy Orion LD context broker provided by Fiware using these instructions. So I click on here and I see some instructions on setting up, here it is right here, clone the Fireware Marinara repo and then run these commands. Now, if you don't already have an OpenShift local environment installed, check out my previous video where we run through that, how to set up an OpenShift local environment for cloud applications. Now I've already cloned this, but we can do it again just to show you. Git clone, it says it already exists. So I'm gonna pull up this project in my Code Ready Studio and show you what's going on here. So we have a Fireware Marinara repository. And if you look back at this, it's running a command OC customize, customize slash overlays slash OpenShift local. Let's take a look at this. Uh, customize slash overlays slash OpenShift local. And you'll see this customization.yaml file. Now, customize is a cool way to do GitOps that I love. Um, it's supported by Kubernetes, the Kubernetes custom configuration. And you set up a bunch of directories with customization.yaml files. And in there, you can specify resources, either through absolute path or relative path. So here, we're going to install a bunch of bundles for patch operator and vault and Argo CD. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just worry about installing this bundle for vault, HashiCorp vault. First thing I need to do is log into my OpenShift local environment. Now, I already have it started. But if I want to see what the commands are to run it again, I do CRC start and it tells me again how to log back in. So I copy this URL and I paste it into my browser. And here we are. All right. <clears throat> I need to grab a cop, a login command. So I I go here, I click on copy login command. It asks me to log in again. So I enter kube admin and put in my password. And then I get this command line token that I can use. So I copy that and then I paste it here. Now I'm logged into my console and I can run GitOps from my cons my terminal. Now, I'll go back to these instructions and all I need to do is CD into this directory and run these commands. So this uh, Fiware uses Helm charts 
And so this is their recommended way to load all of the Helm charts into the repository. But we're actually not going to do this right now. We're not going to do everything right now. I'm going to show you, well, let's pull up here. We're going to run this bundle. So we do OC apply dash K for customize. And this is in customize slash over, no, 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 bundles vault. I just want to install vault right now and vault base. Now I can see what it's going to do beforehand if I do a dash dash dry dash run equals client. Okay, so this, this depends on the external secrets operator. So it looks like we should install that first. Let's try that. External secrets. So what that's going to do, it's a little hard to see here. Let's try this one more time. It's going to create a namespace and a subscription to an operator. So let's take off the dry run and run this. Okay. And then if we <clears throat> go to, <coughs> excuse me, if we go to our console, Let's pull up operators, installed operators. Here's the external secrets operator in progress. Okay, it just popped up and it looks happy, still installing. Install succeeded. Good to go. All right, now let's check out the vault operator again. Let's do the dry run, see if it complains. No complaints. So it's going to create a bunch of things here. Sir, namespace, service accounts, cluster role binding services, routes, and other things that are required by Vault. So let's go and run this. All right. Now I expect there to be a, a namespace called Vault, which there is. And then let's go to search for routes. And we'll pull that up there. Uh, I'll pull up pod and let's check on the state of the vault pods. So it says vault is running. And in fact, it is. Wow. Cool. 